In Iraq's western province of Anbar, government forces continued their battle to recapture parts of the city of Ramadi from Al-Qaeda-linked militants. After the fighting on May 26, government forces claimed control over two southern neighborhoods. Fighters with the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant hold several other areas in Ramadi and much of the city of Fallujah. Northeast of Fallujah, government forces launched airstrikes in the town of Garma, damaging a number of buildings. In Tajikistan, the Collective Security Treaty Organization concluded an anti-drug training exercise involving its six member countries plus Afghanistan. In the week before the exercise, 21,000 law enforcement officers from Russia, Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Afghanistan took part in an unprecedented coordinated anti-drug operation. As a result of the cooperation, 12 and a half tons of drugs were seized, including 10 tons of opiates in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, candidates for provincial councils started a protest against alleged election fraud. The protesters are calling on election authorities to recount the votes from the April 5th provincial council balloting. The election authorities, who were scheduled to announce the final results on June 7th, have already rejected the demand. In northwest Pakistan, hundreds of government employees took to the streets to demand salary rises. The protesters blocked a main road in the city of Peshawar while marching toward the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Provincial Assembly building. They threatened to blockade the assembly if the local government fails to raise their salaries to keep up with inflation. In Tajikistan, Culture Minister Shamsuddin Orembekov opened the Days of Russian Culture. In his speech at a theater in Dushanbe on May 26, Orembekov called on Russia to create special programs for Tajiks who are studying the Russian language. In the coming days, about 45 Russian singers, musicians and actors will perform in Tajikistan's theaters and meet with Russians living in Tajikistan. In Bosnia-Herzegovina, the national football team left for the United States for a series of matches before heading to Brazil for the World Cup. The squad will play friendly matches against Mexico and the Ivory Coast during its U.S. tour. The Bosnian team will open its Group F campaign against Argentina in Rio on June 15th before playing Nigeria and Iran. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.